We're here today with Dr. Michael Gramley. It's December 2013, and he just finished a study out in Deerfield, Mass. Dr. Gramley, what is your current research? Uh, currently, uh, I'm analyzing specimens that we unearthed in September uh, 2013 at the Sugarloaf uh, Fluted Point site. And here are specimens from that excavation. Um, a large uh, fluted projectile point unfinished made of felsite, uh, numerous uh, fluted points that were uh, broken during manufacture. Here we have a channel flake reattached. Um, fluted knives, uh, here's one that uh, was broken, um, and a series of knives um, uh, that were, we found in this uh, remarkable deposit where bifaces were being reduced into finished forms. Our work there uh, was to, uh, in September, was primarily to date this material. And uh, we can now say uh, that these objects that I have before me and many others like it that we dug up uh, date to uh, 10,350 plus or minus 50 radiocarbon years, or roughly taken uh, 12,350 calendar years. Uh, insofar as fluted point industries go, that is fairly recent in time, certainly later than things uh, that are typically regarded as Clovis. So these materials uh, in Massachusetts, we would call descendant Clovis materials, and uh, shows us uh, that probably the caribou adaptation or lifestyle was still being practiced in Massachusetts when elsewhere changes, uh, profound changes in diet and uh, culture had occurred. And is this from a habitation site? This particular group of material here before me is from a biface yard or reduction spot that is associated uh, or nearby uh, habitation areas. It itself, though, is not a place of habitation. It's a place where uh, men and, uh, made new flu replacement fluted points, fluted knives, and ovate knives. And this area is um, in the Connecticut River Valley. Is this particular area rich in a lot of other artifacts? Uh, probably one of the richest uh, areas for cultural remains of the prehistoric period is to be found in the Connecticut River Valley. And in particular, this area near Deerfield, Massachusetts. And the, the question is why? Well, we have the meeting place of four rivers all coming together, funneled together. It was an important place to people who were hunting and gathering, uh, and later people as well. So it's no surprise to find these ancient Paleo-American artifacts uh, in profusion. In fact, some of the largest Paleo-American fluted point habitation sites to be found anywhere in North America are to be found in this part of New England. Thank you very much.